a blessing yeah. that the children of God can come into the presence of God yeah. and worship God in spirit. Yes, sir. And in truth. Amen. It is a wonderful opportunity. It is an honor to be preaching here in the 75th Annual Lectureship of Southwestern Christian College. Amen. Which I was a student. I know it wouldn't be possible if it was once and for God, of course. Amen. And also Dr. Maswell for giving me this opportunity to come and share with you the unadulterated gospel yeah. of Jesus Christ. Yes. yes, sir. It's a blessing to see Dr. Evans and Dr. Foster and Dr. Maswell still here at Southwestern Christian College. And they're doing a remarkable job here at Southwestern Christian College. And I uh, want to thank them for all that they are doing. Amen. The topic that was given to me was fear not nor be dismayed. Mm -hmm. Joshua chapter 10 and verse 25 is what I want to look at right now. If you have it, the Bible records, and Joshua said unto them, fear not nor be dismayed. Yes, sir. Be strong and of good courage, for thus shall the Lord do to all your enemies against whom ye fight. Yes, sir. But before I get in my sermon text this afternoon, permit me, if you will, to go back to the first cha chapter of Joshua. I, I'm reminded of Joshua when he started his ministry or his leadership position, if you will. I'm reminded in Joshua chapter 1 and, and verse 5 where the Lord told Joshua, there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. All right, Doc. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. See, this was the promise of the Lord to Joshua. Mm -hmm. And you know one thing, church, if, if, if that's a promise, we can bank on it. Yeah. All right. We can surely bank on the Lord's. Yes, sir. You know, the Lord does not fail when it comes to his promises. Yeah. The Lord is not slack yeah. when it comes All right. to his promises. Yes, sir. Then, then the Lord told Joshua to be of, be strong. Be mighty, Joshua, and of good courage. Yes, sir. I need you to have good strength and good bravery, Joshua. Yeah. Then the Lord told Joshua this three more times in the same chapter. All right. So by the Lord telling Joshua to be strong and of good courage. Yes, sir. That ruled him out being afraid nor dismayed. Yes, sir. The Lord told Joshua, I will not fail thee nor for safety. The Lord told Joshua that, yes, that, sir. I, that thou mayest prosper wherever thou goest. Yes, sir. The Lord told Joshua that thou shall have good success. The Lord told Joshua, in other words, I will give you the victory, Joshua. Come on, preacher. But it is incumbent on, or it is provided by five stipulations, Joshua. Yeah. The first one is that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law. Yes, sir. On, Second one, Joshua, is that turn not from to the right or to the left. Yes, sir. The third one, Joshua, is the book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Yeah. The fourth one, Joshua, is that thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Yes, sir. And the last one, Joshua, is thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Yes, sir. So the Lord just wanted Joshua to Priest, be God. simply faithful to him. Uh -huh. Be obedient to me, Joshua. Yeah. See, when you are a child of God, you have to be faithful and obedient. Yeah. You got to be a faithful and obedient 
Christian. You got to be a faithful and obedient servant. You got to be a faithful and obedient leader. You got to be a faithful yes, and obedient soldier. Yeah. See, see, faith is, faith is, uh, the Hebrew writer said that faith is the substance, the substance of things hoped for. Yes, sir. And the evidence of things not seen. What is it that we hoping for? Well, we hoping to go to heaven yeah. one day. Am yeah. I right about him? Yes, sir. What, what is it that we hoping for? We hoping that when this all world is over with, we got a mansion robe and a crown waiting on us. That, that is what we hoping for. And, and we must have faith in God. Yes, sir. Because the Hebrew writer also say, but without faith, yeah. it is impossible. Yeah. To please him. Yeah. Because he who cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder that diligently seek him. Yes, See, sir. we must believe that he is. We must have faith. Faith is what brought us to God in the first place. Yes, sir. And we must continue to keep having faith to keep us on. Yes, sir. See, 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 we, 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 we must believe that God's going to do what he say he going to do. We must be full of confidence. We must have full assurance. We must have full reliance. We must believe yes, fully in the power of God. Yes, right, sir. Preacher. Amen. God don't need no coward soldiers. God needs soldiers who are going to stand and put their all on the line, no matter the cost. That's right, you got to count the cost. Anything you do, you got to count the cost. When you become a Christian, you got to what? Count the cost. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, that's the best thing that you can ever do is become a child of God. But you must count the cost. I tell my folks that all the time. When you became a Christian, did you count the cost? All right. Jesus said that foxes have holes and birds have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. All right, when, you come to, when, you be a, when you become a child of God, just know you're going to go through some things. When you become yes, a child of God, just going to know that you're going to go through some, some battles. You're going to be faced with some struggles. You're going to be faced with some trials. You're going to be faced with some tribulations. Just know yes, when you come to God, you got to count the cost. Yeah. But it's a beautiful thing, church. It's a beautiful thing. Yes, sir. To stand for the cause of Christ Jesus. See, we need hard fighting soldiers on the battlefield for our Lord. We need exceptional soldiers for our Lord. We need remarkable soldiers for the Lord. We need strong and courageous soldiers. We need strong and courageous soldiers in the midst of persecution. We need strong and courageous soldiers in the midst of hardship. Yes, and sir. in the midst of obstacles, and in the midst of trials, and in, in the midst of tribulation, in the midst of turmoil, we need soldiers that are going to be strong and of good courage. Yes, sir. They need to possess great confidence. They need to possess great boldness. They need to possess great loyalty. Yeah. They need to possess great devotion. They need to possess great dedication. They need to possess great sacrifice. Yeah. They need to possess great strength. And they need to possess great discipline. And see, that's what Joshua displayed. Joshua was faithful to God. Listen to what Joshua said in verse 25 of chapter 10. It says, and Joshua said unto them, fear not, nor be dismayed. Be strong and of uh, Good courage. Yes, sir. For thus shall the Lord do all to your enemies against whom ye fight. Now let's see what the Lord did. Meet me over at verse 1 of chapter 10. Verse 1 in chapter 10, the Bible says, Now it came to pass when Adonazek, king of Jerusalem had heard how Joshua had taken Ah and how and how early destroyed him. And as he had taken or has done to Jericho yeah. and her king, so he had done to Ah and her king, and how the inhabitants of Gideon 
I made peace with Israel and were among them. So when the king of Jerusalem heard how Joshua had taken off and her king, when he heard about how Joshua had taken Jericho and her king, All right. and, and utterly destroyed it, uh, brother, brother Caesar, when, when God does something, he, he utterly does something. Am I right about it? Yes, when sir. When God does something, he absolutely and completely does something. Am I right about it? Yes, See, sir. When we do something, we don't take care of the whole problem because two or three years later, it's brought back up again. But if you get it to God, he'll utterly take care of it. Am yes. I right about it? Yes, sir. So, 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 and how the inhabitants of Gibeon made an alliance with Israel. And see, in verse 2, the Bible said that they feared greatly because Gibeon was a great city as one of the royal cities and because it was greater than I and all the men thereof all right. were mighty. You see, the enemy is always afraid. The enemy is already afraid if God is on your side. Y'all believe that? Yes, sir. See, the enemy believed in Joshua. And he believed in the power that Joshua possessed. And it was through the faith in God. Now, why are you saying, Brother Preacher, how, how you get that? Because if the enemy didn't believe in the power of Joshua, why did he greatly fear? All right. You know, James wrote, the devils also believed and trembled. They were trembling at Joshua's success because of this fear. Let's look at what they did. Let's look at verses 3 through 5. The Bible says, Wherefore, Adazadek, king of Jerusalem, sent unto Horm, king of Hebron, and unto Palm, king of Jor 